All right guys, so in a previous video, we showed a little bit about the Canon EOS R6, that's it right here. Um, and we were playing around with the new firmware 1.1.1 and doing some testing at the end of the video just to see what kind of possible overheating improvements that this camera got or we hoped it was getting, I guess. So I did some follow-up testing because I had a lot of people in the comments ask, especially things like uh, 4K60. That was probably the biggest one was 4K60. So I tried, of course I couldn't go back and try some of the tests with the previous firmware because it's been updated already. So all of this was done with firmware 1.1.1. First off, we started recording or tried recording a 4K60 and we didn't barely get any improvements much. Uh, we got about half an hour. So on one instance, I got to 28 minutes where the overheating started. And then when I hit that 30 minute maximum and the camera just shut down, it wouldn't let me start again. Second time around, I did it again after it had cooled and I usually let it cool for about two hours. So the second time around, we got to the 30 minute with no overheating, which was always like cool. Uh, turned it on, I got about two minutes in, the overheating warning came up and about three, four minutes later, she shut down. Now that was downstairs in our house and our house is set down on the main floor to 23 degrees. 22, 23, that's kind of what it is. Now, my thought was this room where I had done the previous testing is always cooler. It's always cooler just naturally because I do my editing in here and because I do my editing in here, I naturally try to keep this room cooler. So it's usually around 19 to 20 degrees. We actually brought up something to measure the temperature and we got about 19 degrees and this is Celsius. So on my original, recording when I did 4K24, I got over an hour. So I went downstairs, did 4K24 again, and this time again, since it was 20, 23 degrees, we got the overheating at around 45 minutes. Still not bad, it definitely an increase. What I had learned by this point was that the external temperature was playing a huge role in the camera's overheating which was something that in the original firmware we weren't seeing. With the original firmware, it seemed to be very, very timer-based and at certain times it would just overheat. It would say it was overheating. So now we are getting external factors playing a role. So downstairs, 23 degrees Celsius, I overheated faster than when I was testing it upstairs when it was about four degrees cooler. So I attempted to bring, and you guys may, no, you probably can't see it. I brought in a little USB fan. There's a little USB fan up here. And I brought that fan down on the desk. I then tried to record both 4K24 and I did 4K60 with the fan blowing on the back of the camera. So it was literally just constantly blowing on the back. And I couldn't get either one of them to overheat. It just, it just kept, it kept going. At about an hour and a half with the 4K24, I stopped and at the hour mark, probably a little bit more than the hour mark, I stopped with 4K60. I was just filling up cards one after the other. I just pop them out, pop another one in, pop it out, pop another one in. And it just kept going. Again, that's with this USB fan blowing on the back, keeping it cool. So it was straight on the back of the camera. Now the other test I did just to see, and it was kind of in regards to recovery a little bit, we got the camera to get to an overheating period. So I was shooting 4K60 with no external cooling at all, and we got it up, and it was about again that half an hour mark where she started to flash saying that she was overheating. I then turned the fan on and I blew it again right on the back of the camera. The overheating temperature actually, about a minute or so later, I, it, it just, it went away. And it kept recording. Again, filled up the card and, and I was good. You could feel a bit of heat coming out of like the grip side where like the card and everything is. It never really got too warm. The fan was keeping it cool. 
So I think this plays a big role for one in the possibility of using something like the R6 a little bit more professional in regards to the fact that it seems that if we can bring in something to blow cool air even on the camera if it overheats it actually just it gives us that time back or at least it seems to at least it did for me um, and if we are in a scenario like me right now and I'm just so you guys can see uh, I'm doing this video with a lav mic on and that fan is running so if we were recording with this and the fan was behind you may not even be able to hear it especially if we could get the camera far enough away from your subject that we wouldn't be hearing that fan possibly blowing on the camera it doesn't have to be a big fan it just has to blow on the back of the camera to cool it down so that's just my experience shooting and doing some testing on the R6 with version 1.1.1 of the firmware and hopefully if you guys have any questions please leave them down below if you've tried this yourself there were some other people that had commented on my previous video and I'll put links up here wherever that is if you guys want to go watch that one um, that have also been doing the testing and have said that they've been also getting like infinite recording times pretty much when they are providing some kind of cooling solution like a fan blowing on the back so kind of cool Canon EOS R6 we uh it's not it's not perfect because it can overheat for sure and I don't know what it's going to be like in a scenario where you and I are shooting and it's really hot out because right now where I live it's it's we're coming into that temperature where it's fall and we're getting a little cooler outside and because of that it's not getting hot so it's perfect time to shoot for sure but I won't be able to test that more till we get hotter weather, which is going to be later. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Canon R6 seems to be working really good for me. I am going to be doing a test later on this week where I'm going to go out and shoot all day, kind of vlog style, take some photos, shoot in different frame rates. And I want to see if it will just overheat on me ever doing just a day of fooling around with a camera like a lot of us would. All right, guys. Hit the little notification bell, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Stay tuned. More to come. Tech reviews coming up tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you then. Later.